Yes, YouTube vlog massive. What's up, man? Your boy was semi DJ Savage Two British Jazz. Look at that. I've got a nice clean shave today. Woo! Hope everyone is well and of course literally doing well. So today I went to Central London um, to basically drop off a pair of sneakers to a friend of mine, and basically I ended up doing I shot a very cool um, I um, Instagram live session, which I then basically um, uploaded to IGTV, and I was like, you know what? Let me. Show it, let me share it with the YouTube massive. So basically, this is a vlog that I shot pretty much today. Enjoy. Thank you. I'm live and I actually had a, a shave. So I came down to central London today to drop a pair of sneakers off to a friend of mine. So I thought I'd just roam around the streets of London and it's just dead. When I mean it's 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 dead. I mean this is this is Buckingham Palace, right? Look at that. It is just completely and utterly dead. There's hardly, there's nobody on the streets. Usually there'll be police and all sorts here. There's no one here. You know, the only people that I'm seeing in central London are basically the people who actually live in the UK. Because I forget that basically all of the flights have been stopped and so forth. Or they're, or they're just starting to restart. And um, it's just interesting to note when there's no tourism in the UK how many people you actually will see in the streets of London, especially in, of course, central um, London, man. So, it's quite interesting. It really, really is. Oops. Hold up, so I'm back. Yeah, so, when I came out of the tube station today, I was like, wow, it was dead. Like, the stores are open, but... There's no one in the stores. Like, there's no one... Yo, what's up, man? How are you? There's no one, basically, in the stores. It's completely dead. Like, it's so, so dead. You know, central London is a ghost town. Like, a literal ghost town. Give me one second. I've got to tie up my, um, my jeans out here. Now, I'm doing this IG Live because... This is actually my first, it's going to be my first, I think, long-form upload or upload to IGTV. So I'm going to upload this to IGTV after, because I want to. Um, but this is dead. Like, it's super, super dead. With that being said, <coughs> what's up? So, I'm looking forward to today. I'm going to be watching... Episodes of Marvel's Eights of Shield all tomorrow. I'm gonna watch one or two today, catch up on the show, see what the team has been up to since uh, the last year. The last year? Yeah, since last year actually. Yeah. So I'm excited to see um, what happens in Marvel's Agents of Shield. I really love that show. It's coming to an end. We all know that. There's only 13 episodes basically. Um, for this final season and all I want it well the only thing I want to I want it I want to happen is so the only thing I want to happen in the show is one they bring back Phil Coulson to his humanoid self because the Coulson that we have now in the show is the LMD being of course a life model decoy you know in the last season we saw that Coulson's brainwaves were trans were tran transported from it transport into the LMD so I want to see Colson come back man I mean you got to bring back Colson hashtag Colson lives again like that should be the hashtag Colson lives again um, you know it's like Colson is my guy so I want him to come back and I also want them to at least keep shield basically in uh, in the Marvel Universe and in the TV, and, and in, I know, just keep S.H.I.E.L.D. basically. So I was getting distracted by the gods. Um, yeah, I want them to keep S.H.I.E.L.D., you know. And they have to bring Coulson back again, because, think of it realistically, I mean, he's the pinnacle, he's the cornerstone for the, from the, for the MCU in regards to that if Coulson never died in the Avengers Assemble, 2012, what? The Avengers never would have assembled, would have never have assembled. It was Coulson's death that pushed Stark and Cap to pretty much ignite the team and really 
um, avenge for the um, uh, assemble for the first time. So it's it's he's like you got to do him justice, man. Do the guy justice. Bring Phil Coulson back to his organic body. You know we all want to see that. I do anyway. I think it's got to be done. You have to bring Phil Coulson back. You really, really do. Um, I wonder what's going to happen after the show ends. I mean, Agents of Shield. How, what, will ha what will happen to the characters? Will some of them stay in the past? So the future paves, paves so a new future paves way. I don't know what's going to happen to the characters. They can't really kill anybody off because that would totally suck. Or could they? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen to the characters. But all I want was for Phil Coulson to be brought back to life. And what else? Yeah, I really think they should bring back Grant Wood. He was Hydra to a degree, but at the end of the day, we all love Ward, man. We all love Ward, so definitely bring back Ward. My guy still. I really, really like him. Um, what else? I don't know. I don't know. I just, I just don't know. I just don't know what's going to happen when the show finishes, because they have to introduce a new TV show. And I know Marvel obviously have new, um, what do you call it, they have new Disney shows in production, possibly some Hulu, have some shows on Hulu in production or getting put into production. But Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. basically, what up? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. basically is, um, is a show, I don't know, it's just, I want something to come off that show, I want a new spin-off or I don't know. They have to keep the essence of S.H.I.E.L.D. alive. So I'm pretty excited to see what transpires. What literally happens when uh, when the show and, and what, what, what's going to happen after. So and if you're thinking, why am I wearing basically a scarf? It's because, well, very, very simple. We have to wear basically the masks when we, when we now travel on the underground. And if you don't wear a face covering, you know, you can get fined, I think, up to a thousand pounds. I don't want to get fined, so I'm just wearing this. But to be honest, when I went into the underground, I was like, hold on a second, how long are people going to actually find that if I'm wearing this? So I'm wearing this. If I'm wearing this. So when the train took off, I just took it off because, man, even if, even if this was a real mask and it ain't, Ah oh, man, I don't know how people can do it. It's just, it's just bad, man. You can't even breathe in them things. It literally prohibits oxygen, which is what we need to live and survive out here. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm also excited about is it July, July or August. Um, Marvel are releasing the Eternals omnibus, illustrated and written by Jack Kirby. 100% written by him so um, yeah this is the whole collection like the entire saga so and of course the movie's coming out and it was funny I didn't I did I did not know about the Eternals until they announced the movie like there's a lot about the lot about Marvel history that I'm basically still catching up on so the Eternals kind of got me intrigued did a bit of research I was like oh nice and then when I found that it was written and illustrated by Jack Kirby, I was like, yo, I'm grabbing this. So that's going to be a that's going to be basically my birthday present for the year. And um, I think the omnibus is about that thick. And it's the whole saga. So the, the origin story and all sorts. Um, and the reason I'm excited in actually getting this is basically because, very, very simply, um, when Marvel introduced a new movie they always release a comic book like a year or two before the movie comes out like for example Guardians of the Galaxy when that first got introduced and the movie was about and they announced the movie I think a year before yeah a year before they released basically the Guardians of the Galaxy comic book now basically like that Guardians of the Galaxy team that you see isn't the original Guardians of the Galaxy characters, you know, the, the team changed around. So what I'm trying to say is the reason, the reason I wanted to get this uh, omnibus is because 
it's the origins it's the origin story it's the whole it's, it is the origin story of the eternal so i'll have the i'll have the original story origin story in the omnibus so when when the when they bring out the comic i'll understand where they took that essence from that new comic book from and when the movie comes out i'll also understand where basically um the essence of the movie is taken from because what they'll basically do is and they'll, they'll always do this they will take they will take the story from um from the origin story of the eternals and the current comic book they actually have of the eternals just like they did with with, um, Inf with infinity war that was like a combination basically of um loads of comic books infinity war infinity gauntlet no loads and they basically they gave you infinity infinity war because the reason they do that is because yes they want to stay true to the source material from like from the actual origin story but they also want to get new 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 um people on board so what they'll do is they'll create a new comic book run keep the essence sort of the same but change it up for the current mindset of the people that are consuming comics in this particular era so I'm quite happy. I'm looking forward to basically um let's sit here for a bit. I'm looking forward to when I'm looking forward to when that book comes out. I'm really excited. I don't think I've ever ever purchased an omnibus in my life. This will be my first ever Marvel omnibus. Um it retails on forbiddenplanet.com for 107 pounds. They have it on sale for 70 um 73 or 75 pounds plus five pound shipping but what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait when the book comes out and actually just buy it in store it'll be a little bit cheaper maybe i think it'll be it'll be a little bit more expensive um but really really excited and just grabbing it i'm really excited just to i love i love um i, I love it man i love the omnibus it looks so cool and um yeah man illustrated by jack kirby written by jack kirby I love his artwork and Steve Dicto love his artwork too. I love the art. I'm so drawn to the comic books around from the 80s, 90s. It was like it was amazing. The colours were so dope. And what was dope back then? When you see back in the day, what was dope about reading a, a Marvel comic book or, or comic books in general, they would give you the, the origin story basically within that particular issue. If you read Doctor Strange. They tell you that they tell you basically um stanley tells you his origin story with, with enough in what a panel or two like maybe what two page or two and there was no crossovers or anything like that so basically when you read a comic book you got everything packed into that comic book now with all the events and how things have grown how marvel and pc they do events and so forth they kind of you know they drag it on a bit and for me i just prefer basically just to read a comic book which is why I'm drawn to I mean I grew up on 36 now I started reading comic books I think in the 90s to a degree so I, I you know I'm drawn to that particular era so even though they bring out new comic books I always prefer the old ones because the old ones where the source material actually lies from so to every single person who actually wants to buy who actually wants to get into comic books and so make sure you get the original source the or origin story from the first issue so you can understand what's actually happening when you go into the movies because it's taken from basically there and if you can't afford the comics it's totally fine what you can do is very very simply is if it's marvel you get the marvel masterworks i don't know i don't know what dc's version of and if you can't afford them basically you can always read them online which i cannot do I cannot do i cannot read comic books online did it once because i had to because i was flying off to to turkey and um I think it was a Wednesday. This book was coming. This comic was coming out. I didn't. I didn't have time to buy it, so I, I downloaded it on my iPhone, and I tried to read it. I read it. I was like, "This is so bad." I, it was just so digital. It was just so fake. It was just, you know. And I'm sorry. Like, I, I just. I, I'm not. I'm not for digital comics. I hate them. Now, if you love them, I totally respect you. I basically hate them. I seriously do. Like someone says to me, I collect comic books. I remember, I remember speaking to someone back in the day, and they were like, "Yeah, I collect comic books." And I was like, "Okay, cool. You know, where do you buy your comic books from?" I, I wanted to know what 
a worm. Um, oh, my shoelaces are done. Oh, I'm done. I basically said to him, um, where do you buy your comic books from? Because I, I wanted to know what store he went to so I can just check it out and so forth. You know how we do. Anyways, so he said to me, oh, I basically, I am... Um, I download them, digital, digital copies, I was like, in my mind, nah, I'm sorry, but you can't call yourself a comic book collector if you're buying digital comic books. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it takes the whole essence and journey out of being a comic book collector, saving that money, going to the comic book stores, running to get that, running to get that first issue because you know it's going to sell out, or getting that variant cover that's, that you're so sought after, that if it sells out, like, you're going to be paying like double or triple the price online. So, yeah, you're not a comic book collector if basically you are buying digital comics. Like, 100%. That's my point of view. I can't stand it. Not for me. No way. If you can't find the book, if you can't find the book basically, understandable, read it on digital. If you can't afford it, but if you are buying digital comics, because you you can, not for me, man. Not for me. It's so dead. I'm just looking at. I'm just looking in front of me. This is though it's so dead out here. It's so dead. But yeah, that's basically my my take based on digital comics. In a nutshell, <laughs> there's more cars than people on the streets. It's insane. Pretty close. Let me see. Huh. Let's put the camera on, could I? It is dead. Could I? No one's out here. No one is out. Nobody is out. No one's out. Period. Even the buses are all dead. Look at that. All dead. I'm actually doing very well. How are you? Right? What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh. So, yeah. Um, that's my take basically on digital comics. Looking forward to, like I said, to the omnibus basically of uh, the Eternals. I can't wait. I'm gassed, man. I'm so happy and excited. Because I, I love, you know, I love comic books, right? Marvel or DC, or Image Comics. Um, but I love basically the old school comics, man. And that's what I love to read. I love old. I love to read the old comic books, man. So yeah, I look forward to. It. It's dead out here. I went back to school on Monday. All right, how was uh, school, Sarah? How are you, Sarah? What's up, man? Right. Look at that. It is so dead. I am Sarah. I mean, I'm in Leicester Square still. I'm at Leicester Square. Trafalgar Square? Wait. Trafalgar Square, sorry. It's a so dead. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <coughs> no entry. Shout out to um, Miss Lopez. So I love basically this. I love the water fountain. So cool. This is so cool. I love it. I always come literally here. And then what do I do? I just do this and I go, ugh. Ugh. I like to have fun.
nice still. Mad nice. But it's quiet man, it is so it is so dead, it's unbelievable. I would usually sit over there and basically and do my vlogs, but due to, due to the whole corona thing, it's just been locked. Like completely locked. I would usually sit there and just vlog and do my thing. It's funny, they're, they're telling people to social distance, right? <laughs> but there's no one to social distance from. This is insane, like, there's no one here. Look at that. No one social, well, their families, that's cool. But I mean, look at Who are you going to social distance from? Like, Central Town, or Central London, is a ghost town, man. It's a ghost town. It's, it's, a, it's a ghost town. Oops. I'm trying to wave at this person. I can't wave. There you go. Like, it's insane. Free food, yeah? What is it? Free food. Free food. Everyone's queued up for free food. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Okay. Hallelujah. Free food. Okay, it's dead. Many of us in need, many of us struggling, looking for a way out, looking for a way out. Who's this? Oh, Sarah, what's up? Can Jesus really help me? Can he really help me? Dead up. Is he capable? Oh, it's a pigeon. Is he capable? Beef. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. I'm back still. We are back. I will say this, right? I've been taking that um, that Juice Plus, yeah, the Omega Blend, or in general, my face has become so much better. I know I've got a little bit of a sun. I've got a little bit of a suntan, basically, right? Um, on my face, but to be honest, it's made my face just more healthier, man. In general, I love it. Oh, let me show you something, man. Let me show you something. Where are we? It's creepy out here, man. It really is. Again, it, again, it show it shows you basically. What, how central London would be without any tourism. I'm going to go see you around. Stay safe. You too, man. Stay safe. And do what you got to do. This is PJ. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Right. I want to show something to everyone. What the... Oh, so... Come on, turn around. So, that is the most narrowest alleyway in the UK. We're going to check it out. Oh, before the cyclist kills me. No, he's not going to kill me. I mean, look at that. This is the most narrowest... It's the most narrowest alleyway. Look how narrow it is. Man's walking in still. Oh. Look at that. Look how narrow the alleyway is. Look at that. It is narrow. It stinks of urine and piss. Same words. But it's actually so narrow. Bad for I'll just show you. Let me get out of here now. I'm back. Okay, I'm back. Oh. It's funny, not all, not all of the stores are actually open. <coughs> there's, there's, there's. 
Books and gift. So I'm just looking around. I haven't been up here in like two and a half to three months. So quite interesting to see what's uh, changed and hasn't changed. I will say this: the restaurants have not opened yet, which kind of makes sense. I believe it might it might be next month, which is literally just probably like a week and a half. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing the restaurants open up and stuff, 100%. I was supposed to do a vlog today, but you know what I might do? This vlog right here on IGTV is going to be my vlog for YouTube as well. And um, it's going to be my micro content as well. When did you open up over here? We, well, everything opened up on the 15th pretty much, which was two days ago. But restaurants and the barbers and stuff have not opened up. And most of the stores here haven't opened up. Like, well, here, it's a ghost town to a degree. Oh, well, actually, they are open. Some are open, some have closed and so forth so um kind of interesting <gasps> really interesting Watkins crisis with the closing house So I'm just looking around. Fourth of July, all the salons are open. Yay! Cool. That means basically I'll be going to the barbers on the fourth and getting this all shaped up. Right now, I'm making my journey home. Wait. Sorry, I was thinking of something. One thing I like about doing vlogs on IGTV when I or when I live stream is I don't edit them. I just up, up, upload them as it is. As it is. So I was gonna go into Leicester Square regards to um, taking the train home but I think I'll just take um, what do you call it um, the train from Holborn no uh, nah I didn't travel by bus I travelled by train I can't handle the, uh, the bus man. it makes me sick can't, cannot handle it. So I took the train. What's McDonald's saying? Is it open? Is McD's open? Oh. Mm, no, they're closed. But they were open. Interesting. I am not taking the bus. Five Guys is open. We're open. Here's how to enjoy it, Five Guys. Super dead. Does anyone know if you gotta wear the face mask? Yeah, you do. You have to wear the face mask on public transport unless you believe you have a health condition. But you can check the website. So yeah, you have to wear one. If you don't wear one, they can and they can and they will find you if they want to. That is. No, they. Oh, sorry, my bad. They actually just they. I ask you just to wear a, um, what do you call it? The ask you to wear like a face covering, so literally I've been just doing this. But as soon as I got on the train basically, I just, uh, I just took it off. Can't handle it. No way. Right. <coughs> so these guys are closed. These guys are closed.
Right. So I, I used to come here back in the day. Oops. To this shop here. It's a Swedish shop that does like pastries and stuff. And I used to eat their sweet stuff back in the day. It's actually a good shop. Um, everything is made. It's a Swedish shop. So their stuff is really cool. Um, this shop used to be a very cool dog chocolate shop, but it closed down. It's now become a, a salad shop, which I've never actually gone into. But yeah, this one is called Burgeret, the Swedish bakery. And it's just on the side street here in down central London. I think one time I got this for my dad, I got the, the raspberry jam, which he really, really, really liked. That being said, peeps, I hope you all enjoyed the VLOG because I truly did. With that being said, make sure you smash the YouTube subscribe button, smash the YouTube bell button, share this video, of course, with your friends, family, and of course, everyone else. Hit the YouTube subscribe, follow button, give this video a thumbs up, thumbs down, either one, and I'll catch you beautiful people in a bit. Peace.